following the election, posts about hate crimes have been all over the Internet. But are they true? Some websites say they're not. Like this one from Reason.com. The headline, There is no violent hate crime wave in Trump's America. It states Trump-inspired violence and vandalism have turned out to be hoaxes or misinterpretations. The article questions the anti-Semitic term that was spray-painted on a Philadelphia storefront. It says no one is taking credit, so the motive is unclear. A similar article was published on Breitbart.com. It states the narrative about a wave of hate crimes inspired by Trump is fabrication. Here's what the articles got right. Some of the reported incidents were indeed made up and charges were dropped. But both have misleading headlines. They make it sound like none of the incidents are valid and question the Trump connection. But these incidents are real and some do use Trump's name. We've reported on some that happened right here in the Susquehanna Valley. In one instance, Lebanon Valley College students found a racial slur and Trump's name graffitied on a campus wall. In another, students at the York County School of Technology were suspended after shouting white power while holding a Trump sign. As for these incidents and their connection to Trump, the president-elect has said, stop it. Megan Frank, News 8. And this week, Facebook and Google took action to stop the spread of fake news. One you can use right now is Facebook's news flags. If you spot a fake story, you can flag it to alert other users.